Tom, what have you done to the studio? What do you mean? Where's my desk? You don't need a desk. Trust me, I've been watching all the European sports shows and they've all got sofas. We're very close. Welcome to the Lusser Bus. This week we're heading straight to North London for a huge match. There's only one place it could be. Come on, mate, you're coming. Where? We're here. Handball. What? Handball, London Met Sports Centre. Let's go. This is it, we are here, London Met Sports Centre, for the handball match of the century. It is University College London's UCL versus the University of Westminster, Westminster Dragons. Big handball. Toward your destination, though you may find from time to time complication. What are we looking out for this week, Tom? Well, let's have a look. We've got here Stanislas Strassmann. I think it might be easier if we just call him Big Stan. Big Stan. Big Stan. He's a third year European Social and Political Studies student. Mm, probably a good time to be studying that, Tom. I imagine he's quite busy. He's French and uh, his favourite handball team is Montpellier and he's been playing for eight years. Well, he probably knows what he's doing then. I'm certainly expecting big things. Um, I've just heard as well that we've got Jason down courtside now with the UCL captain. Let's go see what he has to say. Uh, I'm Axel Thompson uh, and I'm the men's captain for the UCL handball team. Have you played Westminster University before? We played them last week. Uh, the score was 53-27 or something. So what do you think the score is going to be today? Uh, so we're aiming for over 60 this time. Uh, but it's only a 60 minute game though, so we'll hope. we're hoping for a 60 plus. Uh, so Lussell is like a more self-organized version of the Bucks League, I think. Uh, so it's more, it's more relying on the captains to organize all the games and stuff. Uh, which is fun, because then you get to like know all the captains. Uh, and interact more amongst the teams. Today's like the last game of the season. Uh, my last game as captain. So really excited about playing like Westminster, which we played last week. You know, try out a lot of like new things, um, but mostly just have fun. So I'm down pitch side, giving the uh, surface a little inspection, and uh, we can see that it's very smooth, very hard. So if anyone falls over, there could be some bruising. Um, it's very blue on the whole, but as you can see, there's a lot of coloured lines. I mean, I'll be honest, I've got no idea which one the pitch is. players are ready, the officials are ready, the crowd is ready, we're ready. Let's play handball. Jay, I'll be honest, we're three seconds in and already I've got no idea what's going on. Have you, uh, have you watched much of handball before, Tom? Well, no, but I assumed it was just the opposite of football. Well, there's a bit more to it than that, Tom. Why don't I take you through some of the basics? Please do. Handball is, of course, played with your hands. Absolutely no kicking. So the opposite to football. Only the goalkeeper is allowed to kick it if, of course, he is defending a throw on goal. One of the key things in handball is that you can't take more than three steps without either dribbling, passing or shooting the ball. Otherwise, that is called walking. Another key thing is that you cannot receive and bounce the ball, then hold the ball and bounce it again. Is that, that's just the double dribble like in basketball, isn't it? Exactly the same, Tom. If there's a foul, there's a free throw. So a free kick. With your hands. And of course, the reasons that you could be called into a free throw are that you might be tripping, pushing, hitting, clinching, charging or holding. Much like dressage. Exactly. Jay, why don't they get close to the goal before they shoot? Well, players, other than the keeper, 
are not allowed within the crease or the six meter line. And that was the first half, 21-9 to UCL so far. Very one-sided game so far, Tom. It has indeed. Um, I mean, I think it's quite simply UCL have been incredible going forward, moving the ball around very quickly, getting a lot of a lot of players involved. And Westminster just haven't been able to handle it. They've been too slow on the defence and then have missed a couple of opportunities at the other end. I've really enjoyed it though. I feel like we're very much getting to grip with handball, but I just want to know more. Well, luckily for you, um, our reporter Tom was down courtside with some of the players earlier, so uh, we can hear a little more of the history of handball from the players that know it the best. Just, get, just get, guess the answer, because they're about the history of handball. Simple history stuff. of handball. Just have a guess. Do you know where it was founded? Uh, I'd say Germany. Uh, in Germany. Do you know when? 118, maybe. I think it's Finland or Germany, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe 200 years ago. No idea. Germany. Uh, 19th century. 20th century. Who are the current world champions? That's France. France. No, I don't, I don't know. Maybe Karabatic? France. France. Uh, Germany. Can you name three famous handballers? Karabatic, that's all. Well, yeah, that'll be uh, Nikola Karabatic, world handballer, uh, Andreas Wolf, best goalie, and I'll say Thierry Omi huh? because he was the best goalie. And I'll say Thierry Omier because he was the best goalie. Nicolas Karabatic, Mikkel Hansen, and uh, Luca Ballo. Uh, Luca Ballo, uh, Heinz, I don't remember the ten name. Can you name three famous handballers? No. No, not really. No. Do you know who the captain is of Team GB? Nope. No idea, sorry. No? Oh, no idea, sorry. No. <laughs> uh, it used to be Bobby, I used to train with him for two weeks, uh, the girl was uh, Lindsay. Used to work. Uh, we used to play in Scotland together. Sure. Who the top scorer? I'll still go with Nikola Karabatic. Nikola Karabatic, I guess, the French player. No. <laughs> oh, that was that was really really useful information there. Should we um should we go on with the second half? Let's have it. Westminster with the ball, trying to work it up slowly. They haven't got much time left, so they really need to get a wiggle on here. He goes for the throw and it's a skull! Cracking finish, cracking finish from the number... Oh, he hasn't got one. Oh, we seem to have a player down here on the Westminster squad. Only five minutes to go and the Dragons are down with an injury. Yeah, I saw this one, Joe. It was a very rough landing. They went up to challenge for a high ball, landed almost flat on his back. I think he's going to be winded at least. Oh, Captain Ahmed helping him up here. It's a three-man effort. And applause as the Westminster injured player steps off court. Really not long left here now. UCL still with the majority of the possession, bringing it forward. Um, but it looks like the referee has called time. That is the end of the game, and that looks like a win, a very comfortable win in the end for UCL. The Dragons played well. I think it was a very amicable game all round, um, but UCL were dominating throughout. Handshakes all round, great sportsmanship. Well done, everyone. Let's pack up the goals. Final score, 42-23 to the home team, UCL. Big match for them. How did our man Stan get on, Tom? I mean, there's no other way of saying it. He absolutely smashed it. He scored 13 goals, top scorer on the team. And what makes that even more impressive is apparently he was out last night. Well, what a man. That is students for you. And now we've got Captain Ahmed from the Westminster team courtside with Jason for the post-match interview. And how did you feel about today's match? Obviously, sorry for the loss. Uh, UCL strong side. How did you feel about it? 
Uh, we played well, but we can improve in our defense. But like what I said before, it's first time uh, Westminster team, Westminster University have a handball team. So next year we wish uh, a lot of people will join us and hopefully we will win some matches. Yeah. And you've got a coach here as well. Tell us a bit about her. A coach is very good. She's French and she's helped us a lot to uh, to make our um, our motivation up when we lose this. So that's it, a fantastic match here at the London Met Sports Centre. UCL coming out on top, beating the Westminster Dragons. Uh, that's pretty much all from us. Back so, to the studio. Oi, that's my line. That was Hamble, and this is Lussell. Still think we need a desk? <laughs>